the sweet sound of a buzzer beater three that Matt Myers sunk to win an OT game last Saturday. Now that win brings the Briarcliff Clippers from here in Port Saskatchewan to first place, not only in their conference, the ACAC, but they're ranked number one nationally in the Canadian Colleges Athletic Association. I'm pretty proud because I was a Briarcliff Clipper at one time, played for the girls team. Uh, Coach Ron Adrian's here. Uh, I know that, you know, your Clippers are the only team in Saskatchewan playing the CCAA. You must be feeling pretty proud. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're really excited about what's happening this year. We're, we're thrilled with the players that we have, and uh, we, we're on a good run. Now, Graydon Childerho sitting right beside him, a huge part of the team's success. Fifth-year player, second-highest scorer in the country. How would you describe the way that you uh, approach each game? Um, I, I guess I just know that my effort will always stay the same, so I... Um, uh, I keep, I keep some of the nerves out of it. Uh, there's a lot of things you can't control, but I can control how hard I'm going to play. So um, that, that kind of makes sure that I can contribute. We saw some of the crowd in that game. Everyone was going crazy. You know what that gym is like, a small gym. Uh, what's that like for you as a player? It's, it's the best. There's no, there's no other experience uh, like it. There's, there's no better fans. Uh, I've never been in a louder gym. It's just, it's incredible. Uh, played for a lot of years, and it's never been as loud as, as that, that game-winning shot. For example, it, you, can't, you can't beat it. Coach, you always have a perfect season here. Um, what has been the key ingredient to your team success? I, I think the, the chemistry that we have has been fantastic this year. I've got some great experienced players, and uh, they're bringing a lot of quality to our team. And uh, so we're, we're getting along well on and off the court, and it, sh it shows on the court when we play together. Great, and you're from Outlook, Saskatchewan, I understand. Uh, you did three years at Briarcrest. Last year you went to the U of R, played with them, went back to Briarcrest. Um, obviously, the wins are probably making you happy, but you know, why did you go back, and how are you feeling playing with that team? Um, it's it's amazing to get to play with this this group of guys. Uh, part of the reason coming back was hearing about the kind of team that we could have. Um, some of the guys returning and the amount of experience that we'd have, and uh, it's hard not to be drawn back to the community at Briarcrest and being able to play in front of uh, people that you know very well. And I feel like I've grown up there, so um, any any chance to to come back, uh, I jumped jumped at the opportunity and. Uh, it's uh, couldn't be happier. So coach number one is a great place to be, but it also comes with a lot of pressure. How are you preparing, I guess, going into playoffs and hopefully getting to nationals? Yeah, really, really we're focusing on one game at a time, which is so cliche for sports, but uh, we just, we just got to really get through this season. We have four games left in the regular season, then we go to playoffs. And so we're focusing on one game. And, you know, this weekend is Medicine Hat at home. So we're excited to play, play, play at home again. That's right, and this is the last home game of the season yeah. before playoffs, I guess. Yeah. So we'll wait yeah. for playoffs here. So if you want to get all the action, you can see the number one team, including Graydon here, on Friday night and Saturday. The girls play at six, guys tip off at eight. Good, good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to go to Danielle DeGraw, who's on the go.